What is good family? It's your boy Noah and I'm back with another video and today, today we're talking about Ethereum 2.0. They've rebranded it to just being Ethereum, an upgrade for Ethereum. And we're talking about the implications of GPU mining with Ethereum 2.0. Obviously, this isn't my regular setup. I'm here at the Crypto Rig Farm, and I'm thinking about 2.0. I'm thinking about the implications of it. I'm thinking about when it might come and what I'm going to do post Ethereum 2.0. So if you aren't familiar with ETH 2.0 or the Ethereum upgrade, what is happening is Ethereum is moving from proof of work to proof of stake. Essentially, that means that Ethereum cannot be mineable via GPUs. Say bye-bye to the GPUs, baby. They're gone. <laughs> They're absolutely gone. Now as GPU miners, we need to strategize and figure out, you know, what's our next move? Are we going to sell our GPUs or, or, or are we going to mine a different coin? And so let's evaluate and discuss all that. Firstly, do I think Ethereum will be mineable in 2022? To be honest, there is a high likelihood that um, the difficulty bomb won't come in 2022. So I think the June 2022 expectation that, th that this difficulty bomb will come might not be exactly accurate, um, but who knows? But regardless, let's plan ahead to figure out what our strategy will be if it does come in June of 2022. When the difficulty bomb hits, about three things will happen with GPU mining, okay? Number one, a, a whole ton of people, a ton of people are gonna sell out their GPUs and sell out their farms just because the profits and revenues per day will certainly go down. So there will be a ton of farms that will stop running. Two, there are ASICs that, um, are they going to shut down or potentially shift off just depending on their algorithmic structure. And then three, all the rest of the GPU miners are going to shift over to other coins. So today, all the other coins that you can mine via GPUs, they're, they're seeing a certain level of, of hash rate today. That's going to skyrocket post Ethereum's 2.0 difficulty bomb. Um, that's going to affect the profits of all of them. And so is it possible that, that GPU mining becomes unprofitable come June 2022 or whenever Ethereum goes proof of stake? It's absolutely possible. If that's the case and if really GPU mining becomes unprofitable, then you're gonna see a, a massive load and a dump of, of thousands among thousands of GPUs hitting Facebook marketplace and hitting secondary markets to sell off GPUs. It's going to be a massive it's going to be a massive bear market and you need to decide, you know, are you bullish on a specific cryptocurrency long term? There are some coins that are mineable via proof of work that are doing some really cool things. We'll talk about a couple of those things, but still you're going to have to really suffer through a non-profitable experience given the energy costs you will incur as well as like the upfront costs of just having the GPUs. So is it a good time to get into GPU mining? In my opinion, absolutely not. You know, we have to wait and see what happens. I would not recommend, you know, investing a sizable amount of money um, into GPU mining today. Um, I would recommend doing it as a hobby uh, or if you have a secondary computer, you know, a decent gaming computer, you could test the waters. But going full force, spending 50K to 100K plus in, in, a, in a couple rigs or a, or a farm, I just wouldn't recommend doing that today until we know more about the situation. When Ethereum 2.0 does come, my strategy is to transition my hash power to nice hash. As opposed to mining things like Ravencoin or Flux, or there's really thousands of others, I'm gonna rent out my, my hash power over to nice hash so I can get paid out in Bitcoin. Nice hash is gonna figure out which is the most profitable cryptocurrency at that time and go ahead and mine that. Nice hash is also gonna rent out my hash power to other folks. Um, so I just prefer to get paid out in Bitcoin as opposed to, you know, mining Ravencoin or Flux or Ryo or whatever the case may be, because those coins are a lot less liquid. It's harder to, to transact with them. It's harder to sell them in the exchanges and figure out how to do that. You got to get different wallets and all this. I'm going to be more comfortable owning and, and holding Bitcoin, which is what I can do with nice hash. That being said, am I going to be profitable? That is something up for debate and something to figure out. If that doesn't work, I will look to mine one of the top um, you know, mineable coins. Like a couple of different coins that are interesting that I would consider mining if I don't go with nice hash is probably like Flux. Ryo has been one that has come up a lot. I know Ravencoin has come up. There's some other set, honestly, I don't know too much about like EXQ, G-Link, Ciro, CFX. I don't know too much about these, but I do know that there is some form of revenue that we can yield via our proof of work GPU mining. 
And so, yeah, I'm going to shift to some of these. Usually go to what to mine and see which one is the most profitable at the time. Am I going to hold onto these coins when I mine them? No, I'm actually going to transition and sell them into Ethereum and Bitcoin because that is what I'm bullish on long term, not some of these more alternative cryptocurrencies. Um, sometimes known as shit coins. So guys, if you're a miner out there, like, what are you doing? What is your strategy? Are you going to sell off your GPUs? Are you going to hold them? Are you going to mine some of these other coins? Are you going to use nice hash and mine and receive Bitcoin as the reward? What are you gonna do? Please let me know down below. If you need help with any Bitcoin mining, if you need help with any Ethereum mining or GPU mining, if you have questions about the whole process, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe. Peace.